All right, all right. Go ahead and go ahead and turn to Matthew. Go ahead and turn to Matthew chapter twelve. Matthew chapter twelve. I'll open up with Bible verse. Actually, let me pray first. Uh, dear Lord, thank you so much for this day, Lord. Thank you so much that uh, we talk here and preach, Lord. Thank you to Pastor Thompson that uh, that uh, you have confidence in us to do this, Lord. I pray that you would just uh, fill me up with your Spirit in uh, Jesus' name, Amen. amen. All right. The title of my sermon is shut up street preachers shut up street preachers and um one of the main reasons why i'm preaching about this is because this has come up several times not just at church but like out soul winning and even at my work i had a guy come up to me at my work and start asking me about uh ray comfort and yeah <laughs> let's just say it didn't it didn't end too well because he really loves ray comfort but you know uh, in, in, in Isaiah 42, you're here in Matthew chapter 12, stay there. In Isaiah 42, it says, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. And so this is obviously a, a, a this is obviously something talking about Jesus. I mean, because, because it's talking about his holy one. It's talking about his servant. It's talking about his elect. It says, he shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. And this scripture is actually quoted, you're in Matthew chapter 12, if you look at, uh, if you look at verse 17, it says, That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles, he shall not strive nor cry, neither shall any man hear his voice in the street. And and some people, they look at this and they're like, wait a minute, why, why shouldn't you give the gospel to someone in the street? Look, if you're out there yelling the gospel or what you think is the gospel in the street, you're doing it wrong. That's right. Because we need to do what Jesus taught us to do. And you'll see these specific times in the Bible, like when he's talking to the woman at the well, where he's where he's talking to someone one-on-one, -on -one, being very specific, taking them aside and actually talking to them. This is a time when you should be giving the gospel, not just bullhorning people in the street, not being rude, not being obnoxious, you know. And so we, th this is the type of stuff that we need to do and, and not just be out there just, you know. I mean, and these guys are all ridiculous anyway. These Micah Armstrong... Jed Smock, Ray Comfort, Samuel Chambers, they're all repent of your sins, guys. Right. They don't believe in the real gospel. They're just out there haranguing people, bullhorning people, intimidating people, into and arguing with them. All they want to do is strive. That's all they care yeah. about doing. Yep. And what does it say? It says that you shall not that you shall not strive with them. That's good. You know? And and when we're given the gospel, we shouldn't be striving with people. Yep. We should be explaining it to them one-on-one -on -one in a way that they can understand but you know why do they do this you know and and go to matthew chapter six matthew chapter six you know what they really do the reason why they do this is to get clicks they do this i mean like the like youtube and and all these other video sources have given these street preachers new life because before you would just go out and do your foolishness in front of a, you know maybe like 10 or 15 people or maybe some friends that you had or if you're like Ray Comfort, he's been videotaping himself for years. I mean, like anyone who would buy a Ray Comfort video is just, <laughs> oh, I mean, like it, all he's doing is to be seen of men. Yep. That's it. Yep. You know, Matthew chapter six, verse five, it says, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. And I mean, this is specifically talking about praying, but you know, you can you can extrapolate this onto giving the gospel too. We're not we're not out here yelling, you know, and screaming, and you know, giving someone the gospel uh, uh, like like just yelling at them across the street. I mean, if you're doing that, you're doing it to be seen in men. That's all. That's what it comes down to. Yeah. Go to Luke chapter ten. Luke chapter ten. And this is something that I think. You know, thankfully, for the most part, people that go to our church, um, they're not deceived or fooled by any of these guys.
but I have noticed that uh, these guys are becoming more and more popular in the conservative ecosphere, ecosphere, because a lot of these guys are big time Trump supporters. They they go around, they, they got all their mega gear and all that stuff. And and so and so what they do is they draw these Fox News conservatives and they listen to their false for penny or sins so-called gospel. Yeah. You know, uh, Luke chapter 10 verse 9 says, And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The king the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you, but unto who unto, unto whatsoever city either uh, either and they receive uh, uh, to enter and they receive you not. Go your ways out into the streets of the same and say, so So this is Jesus saying, hey, if you go into a city and they don't want to hear your message, then go out into the street. And then what are you supposed to say? You're not supposed to say repent. You're not supposed to say turn from your evil sins, wicked sinner. You're supposed to say even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you, notwithstanding be ye sure of this that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. And I've done this before. You know, I've like, I've literally wiped the dust off my feet because, you know, I have some guy who's just like, you know, some raving heretic who doesn't want to hear it. And it's like, all right, fine. I'm going to wipe the dust off my feet, you know, as, as you know, against you. Uh, go to, go to Acts chapter five, Acts chapter five, verse 42. You know, what should we be doing? Acts chapter 5, actually verse 41. And they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing. This is Peter uh, talking. This is after they've been, they've been in jail and, and they're letting them go. And they were counting, and, and they told them not to preach Christ. And so what did they do? It says, and they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. Whose name? Christ. And daily in the temple... And in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. It doesn't say daily in the street, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. Yeah. It said daily in the temple and from house to house. And that's that's what we should be doing. I mean, like, you know, going into church, preaching the gospel, like what pastors just talked about, preaching the gospel to visitors. That's definitely encompassed in this. And then daily house to house. I mean, we do, do we have soul winning daily now? Just about? pretty close i mean yeah and 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 so we're following what the example of the apostles in the book of acts and that's what we should be doing and we shouldn't be striving with people obviously we shouldn't obviously not do it in the street but you know street preachers just don't even listen to them if someone if someone brings them up i guarantee you they they're they're not giving you the right they're not giving them the right gospel so try and educate them on this. Here's some scriptures that you can do that with. Um, and it's it's good for me because this is stuff that I already know, but I actually had to like rack my brain and go, you know what, where do I find this? And so that's why I'm bringing it up again because uh, it doesn't just help you guys. It really helps me because I'm finding these verses. So with that, let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for this day, Lord. Thank you so much for uh, the clear clear passages in your word that command us how to preach your word and give the gospel, Lord, and, and just the example that Jesus gave us and the example the apostles gave us, Lord. And I pray that you would uh, fill the, man, uh, the next man up here uh, who's preaching with your spirit, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.